I don't know how far. But it's pretty far. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Wait. I can't ride on the horse? I guess. I have to... Get on. Oh, oh. Okay, so cool. That's a good last. The grind is long, I bet. All right, so while this is happening, I'm going to take a bathroom break, but I'll let you guys enjoy what's happening on the scene, okay? By telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> That might not be her favorite subject. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. <laughs> no way, Bowie just missed that. Ooh, I missed something, dang it. Dang it. Okay, you know, that's okay. I'll rewatch everything. That's fine. <laughs> oh. Patrick, happy. Thank you for the likes. Also, Robinson, I see you hitting that like button too. You rode a Kepley underwater? What? And I missed it? Enter ah. the home of the norms. Tentatively. Let's see what happens here. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son. son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek. What all who search for us seek to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. <sighs> oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. <laughs> you like will the, die, uh, the of Kratos fate. of Sparta. But you, but you called him, him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When and my son was born, born shut up! <laughs> I hate that one. I hate that one. Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard. And you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. Oh, I really hate that third one. 
He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was educational. <laughs> that didn't do anything. Oh, wait. Are we underwater? Yeah, you guys said we go underwater. Back on the back on the horse. Let us leave this place. Happily. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That's <laughs> better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well. Isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As what? part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. 